What is up, YouTube? Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, and Happy New Year. That smells. <laughs> I hope you'll all forgive me for taking a brief reprieve over the holiday period to spend a little bit of time relaxing. The good news is we're back to our regularly scheduled programming. Part of the reason why I took a quick step away was my Yu-Gi-Oh locals, as I'm assuming with a great many around the around the world was postponed, of course, until the end of the holiday period. And this coming Tuesday, I return to the tables and I really wanted to put the choice back in your hands as to what I'm gonna be playing. I talked in my previous I Am Back video about the different segments I'm kind of working on going into this, going into my YouTube. I'm currently in the midst of a kind of major rebrand. We've had a few, um, we'll say prototype logo designs. <laughs> Continuing on the old, the kind of, the same logo that I'm really happy to go with, but it's really about time that we got that kind of Death the Kid banner out of here that I've been using since about 2011. Just never really asked anyone to redesign a channel header and everything else for all my other social media. So there's that coming in the pipeline, but everything I talked about before is still going to be happening. What I wanted to put to you guys was, um, the deck that I want to play for locals, I'll be honest with you, is Burning Abyss. Admittedly, with a few tips and tricks and twists that I've worked on with a good friend of mine who I've traveled to multiple YCSs with, but I don't really feel like that's all that interesting to you guys. You guys seem to really like all the Cosmo stuff and other older stuff. So, what I've got over here, and we'll go on a little adventure in a minute, is my bag that I take to major events with everything in it that I still really own for this game. Because you'll remember a few years ago, I did mention briefly that I'd sold up a lot of my collection. I only have about five binders. I only have about five binders left. When originally, back when I could literally post a deck profile of anything, I had a shelf of about 20. So you can understand how much I've downsized. So with that, what I figured we'd do is we'll take a dive. I mean, you guys can see what my setup is at the tabletop. And we can also have a look through what I call, I just affectionately refer to as the tubs, which are essentially everything I hold dear to carry to a major event in Yu-Gi-Oh, plus or minus a few things that find themselves in decks and then back onto my desk and find their way eventually back into the tubs. But this is currently what's rolling in circulation, what I'm, re what I'm readily able to access and what I could potentially build a deck from for my upcoming locals, which would result in dual videos for you. That's where the important bit for you, the consumer, the viewer, comes in. So, let's take us over to this bag. I'm gonna go post up on my bed so it's gonna be like the jiggliest footage you've ever seen. And um, let's crack that thing open and just have a rummage. See what deck we can come up with together. You guys just shout out archetypes in the comments below. Make me recommendations. Get this going. Right, see you over there. Okay, so the angle's kind of awkward at this point. We're just gonna keep this fairly swift. So the bag I carry around is just this little duffel bag because it's really easy for me to like carry in multiple positions. And when you actually have to hold something, you're actually always conscious of what's going on with it. If you have a backpack, you're gonna be putting it like strapped across yourself or usually on your back and you have no idea if anyone's tampering with it. So I always recommend duffels. I feel like they're the easiest one because they're always in your eye line. You don't have to do that dorky thing of having your bag all the way on your front or even better drawstring bags. They're so good and they're impossible to open up when they're like without someone literally hefting it off you. So they're phenomenal. I digress. The main things I carry around are, I'll usually have like supplementary deck boxes. We'll go through these in a minute. And like, I'm, I'm, I have no shame in saying that like not all of my deck boxes are Yu-Gi-Oh related. Um, and then these are the tubs. So these carry around, oh. <laughs> these carry around literally everything that I think I'm ever gonna need for a competitive event. Because traveling with binders is horrible. Like it's so difficult and you always get pulled aside at the airport. So traveling with these is so, so useful because you get to pack so much gear into so little space. And if you ever have to build a deck or supplement anything you're playing, these are your guys. The only other things I stow in here is I have a deck box additionally, which I'm actually gonna intro in a different video because I'm upgrading it with the help of a wonderful YouTuber you guys will know in the community. My spell ground, uh, I believe the year on this is 1993, original grey, I absolutely adore, adore this, it's my companion for life, I play it at every event, it's great. Um, and I'm actually rocking around with one of Amanda La Palm's uh, playmats from her Patreon, 
I believe her Patreon fundraiser in which she did a uh, hundred monsters based on fan submissions. I unfortunately wasn't one of the fan submissions that has all the rescue monsters, it has tour guide, so it's good enough for me. So with that said, let's dig in. So now, my friends, you're going to have to forgive me because my actual recording studio that I would normally use, I say studio, desk patch, is currently overtaken by a Christmas Warhammer project that I am indulging in that has overspilled far beyond my designated Warhammer workspace. So, for the moment, we're gonna be doing this still in the same bed area we used before. My apologies for the lack of professionalism. We're gonna crack these open and we're gonna have a look at what we've stowed away in here. and. This is just more of a, like, hey, this is what I carry around, like, help me, tell me what you want to see from this. Because I was looking through this the other day, I can't remember what's in it for the life of me now. I was thinking, right, there's so much stuff in here, let's make content with it, and let's see what people would want. So, I mean, even starting off here, this is a whole Thunder Dragon core that I experimented with for a little while. Um, I, we played, it was kind of like an Armageddon Knight Phantom Sky Blaster deck. Um, and it would really be interesting to kind of revisit that. It also kind of piloted around the idea of dangers. Oops, more than one Armageddon Knight. We can't really talk about that anymore. Um, so, like, this is just part of it because other things got repurposed elsewhere. But, I mean, if you guys want to see, like, a Thunder Dragon variant that's not just the standard... Thunder Dragon deck that plays a few more extra bits and bobs and has a few combos and some flashy plays. We can definitely do that. You guys have seen my recent attachment to dinosaurs, especially in the context of Cosmo. Um, random Stardust Dragon, I guess we can look into Assault Mode. Um, Gem Knight, Garnet, you know where that goes. It's just unfortunately at the moment it seems like uh, Citrine, is that, if that's what it's called, is the new kind of poster child on the block. Um, Phantom Knights, I've experimented with that idea, but I don't want to go too close to BA. But then again, I've not actually produced any BA content, even though I've been playing the deck since October. Uh, we Witch's Apprentice, some more danger stuff. This was some cool stuff. So, um, I ended up picking these up because they were Euro, a Euro each anyway. Um, but I thought, hey, let's have some fun with it eventually. Some Celestial Observatories. So if we play, like, we had an idea for, I mean, a friend had an idea for a Cosmo Deep Draw deck uh, with, like, level 6 and level 7 spam with, like, Sacred Sword and things like that. So, hey, let me know if you want to see some of that. Uh, it's like rotors, it's called by the graves. Phantom Sky Blasters, because this literally works in so many things and gives you so much advantage out of nowhere. He's wild. Uh, drag Downs, because dangers. Uh, the rest of my danger course, so, like, the Bigfoot and Chupacabras. One for one, Snow, Soul Charge, uh, another Wee Witch, like, I didn't really structure this, so I'm like, oh man, how do I talk about another Wee Witch, more dangers, like, I can build whatever you want to. I picked up the Fire King version of Cosmo as well, so if you want to see me play Fire King combo Cosmo, let me know. Uh, Bomber Dragon in there, because what combo deck worth its salt at the moment doesn't play that. Uh, Saw Troopers, the Garunixes, and an Agnimazid for, like, playing Fire Island and uh, Ravine, more Saw Troopers, Delta Shuttles, uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, the Spare Pair, because I play an English pair in my deck so no one ever remembers what it does, Pleiades, uh, True King of Calamities because you need it for this guy, um, like there's all sorts in here, there's the Omega which is at 1 now, Scarlight, Galaxy Tomahawk, and then just a whole bunch of uh, Link Monsters, Alistair, Phoenix, Curious, Link Aribo. So you get another Wii Witch's Apprentice and some more nightmares. Um, and then this is an empty sleeve in the box, apparently. Uh, in the second tray, let me see what we've got here. So I'm trying to see if there are like deck cores in here that I can show you guys. Um, oh, these are, this is frustrating. Phantom Sky Blaster token, sorry, the, not the Sky Blaster. The Sky Striker token got reprinted and I paid loads of money for like some Japanese ones and played one event and then the reprint happened. And the reprint's super, so like it's nicer than the one that I have. So my ones are Japanese common, which is really, really frustrating. But I'm just going to kind of pile up this stuff, which is now horrendously out of order, but I don't mind. Put it to one side, so there's this, Mask of Restricts, they're cool. Uh, loads of tokens from when I was playing the Phantom Sky Blaster stuff. Shadows, that's a trip. Uh, we're going to be revisiting that on Dueling Book, because I, I bought a Crawler Core. And there's a Shadol Crawler deck that's pretty cool, but I, for the life of me can't find it. Uh, Invoked, that's kind of seen a fall off, but we can definitely explore that. Uh, Diabolos, because he's always just handy to have. Uh, how sad, Nightmare Goblin, goodbye, stay out of my game. Your Goki combos are just not my favourite thing in the world. 
Uh, Sky Striker, I have the whole Sky Striker deck, so if you want to see that for Ceremony and want to hear me talk the theory in it, you can definitely do Sky Striker. Uh, El Shadol Winder, more Shadol stuff, and this Dweller is always, always faithful. Uh, some ulties I picked up, so like the Utopia of the Lightning, Trishula, this one's slightly, slightly misprinted, which will be cool to look at. Another Winder, Empty Sleeves. Um, I don't even know why there's some of these level 7s in here, because I must have played something where I thought Gaios might come up, but... I have no idea what it would be. Another True Calamities. This guy, I can't remember what he does. Uh, more Link Monsters. Like, they're all just chilling here. Like, I, I haven't sorted this in a while, so sometimes, like, pulls or cards that I just feel like I need to dump in a box will make their way into here. Like, one random Royal Decree. Two Goats. Uh, because, of course, it's a two now. I don't even know why there's a Burial in there, but there's, there's some Invocations in here. Some Meltdowns. Here's the rest of that whole core. And the other two Alistairs to go with the one that's over here. So if you want that, that's definitely all in there. Uh, then there's Altergeist. So Altergeist was an interesting one that I almost played for YCSU Trek, as I said in my half-finished vlog. Uh, some of the Altergeists are in here. There's some Ibs. I thought they were going to come up for Goki at Euros. That's how long they've been in the box. Uh, Garunixes, and then like the rest of my Invoke stuff. So like Mechabers. I like this, I love this guy, I take it back, I don't like, I love Kokaitis. Kokaitis is obscene, I played him for a good while, uh, to out, I played, um, Invoked Sky Striker and used Shizuku's to make this, and then, like, Sky Striker had such a hard time dealing with it, it was hilarious, uh, so there's all of that, they can just go over here, and then more Sky Striker stuff, you can tell that that extra deck was all together, hey, and an onslaught of the Fire Kings go with those Garunixes. I'll find the rest of those Alter guys because they're in here somewhere. Let's keep this all piled up because I don't want my deck, I don't want my box to just get too out of whack because at least in this case like a lot of stuff is all together right? So another empty sleeve, get out of my way. How about this one? So oh, I thought this was really cool because I heard at one event uh, Gemini FTK was going to be rampant, so I picked these up and put them in my in my box just in case. I never actually cited them because at Friday testing, like no one was playing Gemini FTK, and I kind of trusted that it wouldn't be there. Uh, more altogether stuff. This was when Firewall Dragon wasn't banned, so we don't need to worry about that. Like I said before, this ends up being about pulls, and sometimes I run good out of my foreign packs from YCSs. So that Cyber Rev system, I don't even in French. I know I've pulled another one since as well. Uh, here's some more of those Leonidas's, so they can go over here. I think it was when I was playing Pendulum for Euros. Can't remember, but even even so, they're in there. Attack Gainer, this is for his old day to make Nat Beast. That was a really cool trip for a while. Power Tool Dragon for, uh, there was like a build of Danger Spiral that played this guy. Uh, Exit on Knight, because he's always good to have in there, because they're, uh, he's back now. Uh, Kid Loga, a pot of duality. Ah, now we're getting into like the trap stuff. So, warning, some pots because I can't play them any in any of the decks I'm playing at the moment. There's the other duality. Um, judgment, and then oh, I love these. Some super mind crushes I picked up for Altergeist, which are just oh, crisp. And then here's like pulls just like fall into this box. Uh, like heavy storm dusters out the wazoo because hey, you can never have too many of them. Uh, one shared ride because the others probably got sided somewhere. Kagari to strike. Far and Rushka because like random decks play that. Hextiers, Urbanshees, and then the rest of the Altergeist stuff. Spoofings, Multifakers, Strikes, more traps, Torrential Tributes because I still insist that that card is really, really good even though all my friends tell me not to play it. But I still just really, really, really like it. But we'll scoop these up before I potentially mix them in with another pile again. Stop it, Jamie. Stop digging through the boxes too overzealously. And then in the last one. Sorry, do forgive me. I'm still battling a little bit of a winter cold and I did just come home from work. Uh, another magical meltdown, even though I'm pretty sure I had three in the last core, but we'll put those over with the invokes and just in case. And now everything is falling over because we're on a bed and... That's ruining everything. Another marionette. Um, this was the frog core, if you guys remember frogs from the UK Open. Um, I can definitely bring back Paleo if you want to see some of that. I love Paleo. Um, I just don't really think it's good to compete in this format. Hey, Dark Planet, you know I've been thinking about that deck for a while. Uh, this is the Cursed deck, so there is definitely a whole Trickstar engine in here. Uh, ready and willing to be profiled if you guys want. I almost played it for 
uh, YCS Milan, because a friend of mine did, um, but I ended up stepping away from it last minute. More dinosaur stuff, Trey Draco stuff from when I played the Utrecht deck. Uh, there are some Sky Striker cards in here, I know the rest of the core isn't far away. Back to the front and some Cosmo stuff because you know we're definitely prepping for that. And then here's the rest of the frog stuff, so the three Reckless, there's our Ronins and the other dupe. Uh, and then there's a whole Sky Striker complement, so Widows. So if you guys are cool for Sky Strikers and keen on seeing that deck, please let me know. MSTs when they were hot, more Agni Mazids. Here's the strikes and everything else that was missing from the Alter Guys core when I pulled it out. So, like 100%. You want to see, you want to see meta, meta decks? I can do meta decks. I can do meta. I can do tier 1.5. Let me know which of these I should assemble and do an book test, and we can do it. So that's tub number one. Let's go for tub number two. Tell you what, we're gonna do a jump cut, and I'm gonna refill this. Okay. So, tub number two. It's as follows, and like after everything I pulled out of Tumble One, I actually cannot fathom what's going to be in here, but we'll we'll soon figure it out. So Chaos Trap Holes, they're always handy when Dante is still on the rounds, about, what, six years now since his release. Fossil Divers, and there's got to be more Anti-Magic Arrows in here. Shade Brigand, because apparently the whole Phantom Knight Corge is just like a ridiculous Rongo engine, even though I don't have a Bamboozling Shadow, I'm sure someone would loan me at Fiend Griefings in case that build ever became a thing. There's some Galaxy Soldiers in here, and here's the rest of those anti-magic arrows. Doriado, because at one point I was following the game plan, and Giant Rex, because you can never have more than enough of him. Dragon's Mirror, because I always thought this card was kind of lit, but like I still haven't found a deck where I can make it consistent. Uh, a lot of this is just random stuff that I think we just supposed to just pulled out of boxes and put in here. Here's the other two shared rides. They're gonna go in like the other box to try and eventually make their way back to their third brother. Uh, extenders, Trigate Wizard, Firewall Dragon, you can tell what I was thinking at that time. Uh, there's that third scapegoat set rotations. One of many Photon Thrashers and more set rotations because at one point it was at three and that time was glorious. Um, this is just like random stuff that I'd been thinking of what tooling with. I've always loved Silent Honor Dark. I want to try and bring a deck back with that. So if you want to see him, do tell me about it. Some hip hop, -ish, hip -hop shingans, tornado dragons, and stuff from uh, metal foes, and stuff from pendulum. So if you want to see pendulum, all I mean, uh, utopia, some unending nightmares. When I thought pendulum was making a big comeback, phoenix wing wing blast. Magical Springs for the great comeback of Noble Knights that never happened. Uh, FFVs, like all sorts of just random stuff. Sphere modes, of course, the infamous Rolly Boy himself. Just, why the Wonder Ones? Why the Wonder Ones when Spellbook of Knowledge exists? Ah, that was a trip going, hey, Wonder One's pretty cool. Oh, wait, what's this? Spellbook of Knowledge, which is better in almost every single way. Ah, no. So there's all of those. And now, how about. So, this second bit of the box. So, for the second one, aha, this is fun. First edition MRD Cannon Soldier. For the Cannon Soldier loop that I genuinely never played, I promise. Please don't, please don't hate me. Uh, Goblinburgs, Lightsworn. I can prepare out Lightsworn. Do you guys want to see Lightsworn? Like, I don't know, like, I played that for like two years. Uh, Liliths, because hey, they search really cool traps. Goes in matches, because you can never have enough ways to just screw your opponent out of the game. More Stormings in case I needed them. Um, these are cool, so this is Where Off Thou's to play with Droll Lockbird during Euros. Uh, more Secret Villages, they were for a Metaverse play that I was gonna play with um, Altergeist for YCS Utrecht if I didn't play Cosmo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can definitely, definitely bring back plants. Uh, this is all really cool. So there's like some foolish burial goods, metal foes fusions, hatred aids, the third uh, terraforming, ragekis, like card of demise. If you want to play that version of frogs or that version of Cosmo, um, lullaby of Obedi obedience because I I genuinely think this card will never be like worthless. I think it's so good to hold on to until we have defined formats and it's just obscene. Uh, there's those metaverses I was saying about. I really want to make this card work. If anyone knows a Nirvana High Paladin deck, like send it to me on my Facebook page and I'll uh, and I'll play it. 
some more pendulum stuff because I was obsessed with pendulums for a while. Invoker, I'm glad he's gone. Uh, Mask of Restricts. Uh, a whole ABC core uh, and slash draws, you can see where that's going, so you can definitely talk to me about that if you want. Um, a Morphage Sloth because I was going to play this for Euros and I thought I was like honestly the best kid under the sun for thinking it. Uh, what's left of my Light Sworn deck that hasn't been picked clean. Uh, another Secret Village of the Spellcasters, and that's where the other two Photon Thrashers went. Uh, I feel like the other one was in the other pile, so I'll find that later on. But stacking all this up. Come on. Come on. This is so much work. It's more than it looks. And we'll post that over here as well. Moving into some of the more kind of chunky slots of this. Just, oh, that's another thing you'll find if you ever like steal my stuff and raid through all my night boxes. You just find life point paper everywhere you look, literally everywhere. It's like it makes up the lining of the bottom of my bags. I swear. So there, uh, there feels like there's something in here that's a card. I think it's a business card. So we'll get rid of those for the moment. Uh, so like again, when I say that, I, if, if in case anything comes up, like I'm taking, I carry these viruses around with me like wherever I go. Oh, and this whole thing is upside down more sleeves like it's obvious that cards i've been loading out and i can't find again uh over texas so more dinosaurs artifact durandal this stuff is from the cosmetic from utrecht uh dark ladies agni mazoods different dimension ground that card is a trip like so many people cite it and i just cannot bring myself to do so so i just don't think i don't feel it's impactful enough Enemy controllers like random stuff that i've picked up off of like tables i'm just gonna get rid of them Here's some of the Phantom Knight stuff. So if you guys want to see me play like a PK deck, really love those. Arc Fiend Eccentrics, I thought in case they ever came up, because they're quite an optional fiend. Uh, Stone King Darius, in case he's ever cool. Uh, Seer, I don't know why I have more than one of those. Uh, Coral Dragons, more Sky Strikers, more Torrentials, the Frog Extra deck, which is all here. Like, and the third toad, there we go. Uh, Mare Mare for Yazzy combos. Naturia Exterio for, um, oh, what play is that? I can't remember. Uh, like, Fabled Solkiuses, Grand Magic to Azers, and some Kaijus. Rebellion Dragon, a Spaglio. Starving Venoms, because I thought he was going to be really cool. Naturia Beast, because there was a while when you could make it really easily with his old in, uh, Spiral, and then just like other random traps like an EV and breakthrough skills, like all sorts of stuff. I had all sorts of weird, wonderful ideas with the frog deck and other trap decks where I thought that, like you could just blow people out with viruses if the format gets conducive enough. So definitely had those just chilling just in case, just in case the right situation came around. But there's always been decks that are better than those gimmicks. Again, more pulls. Uh, Meteons, because they're really good against Thunder Dragons right now. More of this sadness token. More hatred aids, because I thought they were the bee's knees against um, Sky Striker. Uh, back when they, you know, with multi roll. Um, two, like some mystical space typhoons and a regeki. More heavy storm dusters. Get out of here, sleeves. Uh, Denko Seckers, because hey, Thunder Dragon's a cool thing. Um, more of the True Draco and like Sky Striker stuff that I was playing with my Cosmo decks, Instant Fusions for Panzer Dragon, more Alistars because for some reason I need five, uh, Mech Knights, Time Lords because for a while I played a Time Lord variant of Sky Striker which was really really weird but for some reason kind of made sense. Uh, more BAs, Minervas because of course like you've got to carry one with your arrow you go right. Trick stars. Oh, this was from the cool um, 8 1 OTK with Sky Striker, which was really cool. Baguska, he kind of came and went and died a death. Uh, Paleozoics, because I needed the supers. Um, more Wee Witches. Uh, I'm trying to think of like how, why half of the stuff is in here. Oh, uh, this was for like a Link Spam deck, so this was for um, use with the Phantom Sky Blasters in the Thunder Dragon deck. And then like pulls from tournament packs, like Divine Sword, Phoenix Blade, why couldn't they just make this bad? Uh, Barastas, like I wanted to play Rituals for a while and then I realised uh, Necros are really expensive and I don't have it anymore. Uh, Quant, Super Quants, uh, Book of the Law for the OTK. Uh, Vampire Suckers, because I like bought loads of those really cheap and I thought they'd be really good and they are, so I've saw I'm selling most of them. Uh, Danger Zones, um, again another one euro purchase pickup just in case. 
Uh, I don't have the whole Cyber Dragon deck, but if you guys want it enough, I'm sure I can borrow it and get a friend to profile it for me. And then Mech Knights, because who doesn't love Mech Knights? And this is a lovely foreign original set core. So if you guys want to see a deck with Mech Knights, let me know. But that brings me to about the end of the tubs. But yeah, guys, like, please, like, of all the stuff you've seen, of all the decks, like, weird and wonderful combinations, just challenge me to make them. Just give me, give me inspiration. I really want this to be a video where you guys can wish list off of me. Let's have a quick, have one quick dump and explore of what's in these. This is, like, Cosmo and BA. This is the BA deck that I played for Milan, or, like, at least parts of it before I disassembled it to make a Locals deck. So there's that. And then in this box, we've got like literally a big stuck together pile of cards. It's not moving. Uh, so Cosmos, Artifact, Sky Striker stuff. So, oh yeah, True Draco. So this is more Cosmos, I think. Uh, yeah, so this is like all my other extra stuff. So like hand traps, my uh, BA extra deck, Tesla business cards, Gemini Ambers, Thunder Dragon extra deck. Uh, an elephant which I need to post to someone. Big shout outs to that loan for Euros. Rescue Cats, not Euros, Rescue Cats from Milan. Uh, yeah. So let me know guys, what did you see in here? What would you like to see me profile? I'll tell you what though, if you want to like really appeal to my heart, I love danger. So literally say like danger something and I'll try and make that work because I absolutely adore that engine. But yeah guys, this I'll just pan it up instead. This has been Jamie the Q00. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content. Peace out. Bye-bye.